For 20-year-old Jonathan Bastian, skateboarding is more than a hobby. His dad bought him his first skateboard when he was just seven years old. From that day forward, I never turned back. When he's not skating, Bastian is working on his computer engineering degree from A&M. For Bastian, skateboarding has become a way to escape the stresses of life, but it also gives him a chance to win. I love, skate I love skating contests. I love competition, so it's just in, in my blood. Bastian has skated in dozens of competitions, and come Saturday, he'll get that chance to show off his skills again and maybe win a little cash in the process at the Come and Skate competition at G. Highsmith Skate Park. Skaters are coming from all over, like Calvin here from Houston, and while they say winning isn't everything, it sure does feel nice. I want to get some money. <laughs> we got cash prizes actually, uh, up to like $150 for like some of the winners. So uh, good cash prizes, all kind of giveaways that'll be going on. Gary Logan with the College Station Parks and Recs Department says competitions like this are a great way to reach out to a sometimes ignored skating community. Come out here any night of the week. There's a there's a good uh, good group of guys out here. You know, definitely they they keep it pretty packed. Skateboarders like Bastion are taking notice. It's a sport that he says has taught him some pretty valuable lessons. Since since I was a little kid, skateboarding's taught me every. Everything. Hard work, dedication, focus. Bastion says win, lose, or draw. In the end, it's all about the boarding. That was so crazy. In College Station, David Norris. One more time? Yeah, I'll try. News 3. What's up, man?